Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Thank you for joining us tonight and thank you for to all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Tonight we're going to be working on a 14 by 14 um, square canvas. It is a level one white background. We are going to tonight do the cup pour that I talked about a few videos ago. I have 10 different cups that are this size. Um, there's scraps from all of the paintings I've been doing. So tonight I'm going to be doing using the first five colors and I'll show you all of them in just a minute. And then um, on my next video I'll do a second cup, cup pour with the other five colors. So I'm going to go ahead and flood this canvas in white and then I'll bring you down and we'll get started. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back, and this is actually a 12 by 12 level one canvas. I have um, leveled the canvas on all four sides, and I double check in the center. Got my, my little stick out for scraping underneath after we're done, and here are the colors. So these are all colors, like I said, that were... Um, leftovers or poured onto the table and I've scraped into cups um, and so I just have some I have just a little bit of and some I have a little bit more of um, but we're going to tonight we're going to use the blues so I'm going to show you what I've got in blues this was a, these two are scrapes this was leftover this was the um, shimmer and shine so there is some shimmer in this one and then this was a scrape you can see uh, the colors that created this there was some blues and some greens um, I'll just stir that one up a little bit more and they made a nice turquoise color so we're gonna go ahead and use that then on the next pour um, I have this leftover it was green and white and some other colors and then I have this um, Shimmer and Shine, has just a little bit of Shimmer and Shine in it, this green. And then we had some leftover pink. We have some Shimmer Shine Gold. And this was um, a combination of a bunch of colors that when I stirred it up, it made this uh, gray purple. So I'm going to add that to the second painting as well. So, again, tonight's colors are the blues, and my painting after that will be all of these um, the remaining leftovers. All right, so I'm going to move those out of the way. Here's our cup. Because it's only a 12 by 12, there should be plenty of paint. Okay, um, again, I have my stick ready for, um, for uh, scraping the underneath when we're done. And I was going to pour uh, white on here, but I'm not going to. When I pour the cup on, if I need some white along the, around the border uh, to help it flow, I will add that at that time. And I will be using that, which is my Blick Acrylic White, titanium white with Floetrol and water that's in my little handy dandy bottle here. So let's get started. So because I have so much of this blue, this blue, and I think it's this one. Nope, this one. Um, these are the colors that will go in more often and will accent with these two. Because you can you can accent in a cup pour. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lids off these. And I did stir them before I got on camera just so that they would be stirred up. And then again, we don't have a lot of this uh, leftover blue mixture or this one. So I'm going to use these for accents in between the other ones. So I'm going to keep the sticks in it because I have to stir those up a lot. All right, let's get started. I have the most of this color blue. So I'm going to put that in as my bottom color. Now keep in mind, whatever goes in first comes out last. So I'm going to add some of the medium blue. Okay, 
Then I am going to add some of this leftover paint because it's a little bit thicker from sitting. Then I think I'm going to add the turquoise. And you can do this in any order you want. So um, next I'm going to do some shimmer shine blue. And then we're going to go back to our original color. And then I'm going to add some of the dark. Can you see what I'm doing here? Let's see. Okay, so there's some of the dark. Then I'm going to add, no, then I'm going to go with the shimmer shine on top of that one because I think that would look pretty. Then I'm going to add the dark turquoise. This is what's fun about cup pours. You don't have to go and do it in any particular order. You can do it any way you want. And each time you could you could use the same combination and, and fill this cup, you know, six different ways to Sunday, and uh, each one is going to come out different. Okay, go back to our original blue. Then let's do some turquoise. Then we'll do the shimmer shine. Then we'll go back to this gray blue. This one is a lot thicker. Um, let's see, gray blue. Then we'll go back to our original color since this is the one we have the most of. Turquoise. That's just a lump in there. A shimmer shine. Dark blue. This one actually is kind of a purpley blue. And let's throw in this gray blue at this time because we haven't done that yet. Okay, then we're going to go back to our original, oh, whoops, <laughs> slippery when wet, our original blue. And we got just enough to go maybe another round. So turquoise, shimmer shine, I'm just adding it all now. And then we're going to do the um, gray blue. I don't even know what to call this one because, like I said, this was a scrape off the canvas. There we go. Okay. And then the darkest blue we will put in there next. I believe some of these blues came off of our winter um, evergreen tree pour that's what the colors remind me of so I think that's where they came from okay okay then I think I'm gonna go with the regular the main color blue and then I'm gonna go with the dark turquoise not much left in there and then I'm gonna add the shimmer shine because there's not much left there either then I will show you what it looks like. So can you see the layers in the cup? Okay, so this is, like I said, a blue cup pour. Um, I chose to do the blues only because I thought that the colors that were left over would look really good together. And um, if I took one of them out and, and added it in here, it would take away from the blues and it would take away from this next color set that's coming up. So I'm going to quickly put my lids back on these containers because I want them moist enough when I wash them out um, that I can reuse them because I do not like to waste plastic. Okay, so there are our five colors again for this cup pour. Okay, so let's get pouring. And like I said, if, I don't think I'm gonna need it, but if I decide that I need more paint to keep things moving on here, I will go ahead and um, add the titanium white. And actually, I'm going to roll that up so that we 
don't waste two of these mats. Okay, here we go. Now, there's a lot of ways you can pour this. You can just pour it on here, quick as can be. You can put the cup on here and do a flip cup, which I'm not going to do. Um, and then you just poke the bottom of the cup and it will ooze out. You can flip it, put it on there and drag it around. I am simply going to slowly run it from corner to corner and whatever we have left over we'll run it on the other sides. So these colors are very similar. Um, I see that the what I called the blue-gray is um, coming out. I see the green the turquoise. In here it looks green now. And I'm not sure how much contrast we're going to get. Okay. Like I said, you can pour it any way you want. And I'm not going to waste the paint. I knew this would be an adequate amount for this small of a canvas. And I'm just using up the rest of it to fill in. Because when we start pouring, we're going to want enough to make sure that it goes all over the place. And again, we have some shimmer and shine in here. Um, we have some uh, possible um, cell making painting here. And here's what we've got so far. So now what we're going to do is we are simply going to tilt because the idea is we need to fill up the whole canvas. So we're going to tilt to this corner. And that corner there we go. I was going to say that corner we didn't want to fill. Then I'm going to go down to this corner. Okay. Now, we, let's see, I think we should drag those back. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to drag this back to the other corner only because I like some of the cells that happened over there. And then I'm going to go down to this corner. And we have enough paint that I'm not going to be too concerned about um, misshaping it or anything because there's a lot of the blues on here that need to come off. So here, look at so far, we have something that resembles, I kind of like it right there, um, I'm just going to go underneath here to make sure I don't have too much dripping off. Um, not a lot of cells. I actually thought there might be more than there are, but I think that might be in one of the other paints that's, um, coming up on the pour for the next time. But to me, this looks more like a like underwater type painting. Um, you know, because it's blue and it's got the greens and it has some what looks like levels to it, you might say. Um, I'm not sure if you can catch all the colors. There's a lot of colors in here and it's very blue. I'm just kind of looking at it to see if I want to tilt it anymore. Because to me it looks like it's under the sea and then you've got like a river and maybe a lake, which happens under the water. Let me see if I can stretch this. Just a hair more to bring out a little bit more of the darker blue that's in here. There we go. Okay, okay. That's better. Sorry you can't see this, but there. I like that a lot better. It brightened it up just by dra- Oh, I got my rings all dirty. Uh oh. Um, by getting the, um, the, uh, colors to go down a little bit further. Um, it really, that really helped. 
should have taken my rings off and I didn't. Um, so, tell me what you think about cup pours in, in general. Um, sometimes cup pours come out really, really nice. And sometimes they come out a little plain like this one. But they're still fun to do. And it's a great way to use paint uh, up on a smaller canvas so that you're not just throwing the paint away. Because um, I really hate wasting, uh, you know, acrylic paint, especially after I've spent the time to mix it up and use it on other paintings. Um, I like to use as much of my materials as I can. So let me know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera and bring you down so you can see it up close. Like I said, it's very muted, but I like it. Um, I think it looks pretty good. So give me a second and I will be right back with you. Okay, I am back and here is our uh, little cup pour for tonight. Again, um, I probably could have added maybe, let's see, of our next five colors, I probably could have thrown in some of the, the Shimmer Shine Gold into this, but I think it's going to look nicer with this set of colors. So I wanted to use up the blues, and this is what happened when I did. So let me, whoop, let me take you down. So there's a lot of really nice things going on in the painting. They just don't really stick out that much. Um, it does look to me like an under the sea type painting, and I don't know, maybe it would look cute in a kid's room with, you know, like a couple of fish or a shark or something swimming along this little underground river or something. I don't know. Otherwise, it just looks like a nice, quirky, you know, uh, throw-on-the-wall type painting. Um, there are cells popping. I found out while I was grabbing the camera that there are some cells popping out now. They were just a little bit slow to get going. Um, so I think we're going to have some additional color popping up, and if you notice, I don't know if you can see it on the on the uh, mat over here, all the shimmer shine that's going on. That is from that one blue, uh, the really really light blue that we had, that had the um, shimmer in it. So we may get some shine out of this when it's all said and done. But meanwhile. Here is tonight's cup pour, and like I said, in three days in my next video, I will be finishing off the paint that we talked about earlier. These are the colors that will go into the next little cup pour. So until, until then, um, thank you for watching. Again, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye!